Hey, hey. <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing a red bottom styled nail, but <laughs> add bling, of course. We're gonna be doing a nude nail design with a red bottom tip and blinged out French nail tips. So let's get into it. So first things first, you gotta get the nail sizes. You gotta get the right nail tips for your customer. So that's what I'm doing first. And then I'm gonna get to prep. Okay, so after you have all your nail tips laid out, then I'm gonna go and shape up the nail. You know, just make sure it's nice and sharp. And then I'm gonna go and file off the shine. And I always start from the bottom and work my way from sidewall to sidewall. And then once I get towards the top, I flip it over and just do the same thing. Just gently go from sidewall to sidewall until you've gotten the shine off the whole nail tip.
Okay, so now I'm gonna pull out my trusty, rusty, crusty nail tip stands. And I promise y'all, I just got some new nail tip stands, so you won't be seeing these in any more videos. Well, a few more videos, and then you won't see them anymore. But I'm just gonna put these nail tips on the nail tip stand with poster putty. And I got my poster putty from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, hmm. Um, and it works really, really good. But just make sure when you put your nail tips on, just get them on the nail tip stand really good because you just don't want your nail tips to just pop off while you're polishing them. Because I said it in another video, it's just, it's all, it's all fucked up. Because you got to pick it up with your hand, you got you smudge the gel polish all over the place, and you got to do it again. It's just, make sure you put them in there good before you even start. So, get off to this. Okay, now that you have your nail tips on the nail tip stand, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't always wear gloves. And the nail tips can have debris like dust, lint, um, oils from your fingers if you aren't wearing gloves like me. So I just wipe down my nail tips um, and just make sure they're nice and clean before I begin any gel application. And these are soft gel nail tips, so using acetone isn't going to dissolve the nail tips like it would if you were using um, an ABS plastic nail tip. Not to say there's anything wrong with that, I'm just letting you know before you put acetone on your McCart nail tips and it just dissolves away. Just so you know, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to apply my base coat to all of the nail tips and cure that. All right, let's get into this design. So for the red bottom designs, you gotta have a banging ass red. And this is the color that I'm using. So I'm just gonna put down a layer of this polish, cure it, and do that with all of the nails.
Okay, so after you have your first layer of red on, that's all you need is one layer of your red. You're going to go on to your nude color. And I'm not going to lie, I fucked this up. That's why I left it in, just so you guys can learn. Um, this is a very pretty color. But this is not the color nude that you use. This is a very, you know, translucent, very sparkly <laughs> nude. I don't know why. I don't even know why. I don't but I left this in there because number one, it is a pretty color. Number two, you guys can learn from your mistakes and just learn from them, fix them and move on. Don't dwell on shit. Just keep on, keep on, keep it on. Fix it. So yeah, yeah, I was looking at this like, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's just, I was trying. I was trying to make it work, but mm, nah. It's just way too translucent. So, I wiped it off and I went with this color, which is also another pretty nude. And I'm just gonna start applying the layers of this nude color. Okay, so this is what the nail looks like after one layer. You can still see the red through. It's still kind of splotchy and we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer. So this is what they look like after two layers of the nude and you can leave them just like that and sell them just like this because they're gorgeous, they're nude and they have that little pop, very classy, very cute, but <laughs> a bitch like me needs to have some place. so that's what we're gonna do. So I ended up using that first color that I showed, that first nude color that I said was very transparent. I ended up using that over this nude color just to add more shimmer because we're blinging it out. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be a little shimmer shimmer. So that's what I did. I just added one layer of that shimmery nudie color and popped that in the lamp. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my matte top coat and apply this. And I do this because to me, I think that it seals in the design. So when I go on top of it with like a French tip or any sort of line or drawing work, if I happen to mess up, I can easily wipe it away and not have to worry about some of my gel polish that was already applied smearing off. And I also find it super, super easy and super, super easy and smooth. I said that twice. <laughs> it's easy and smooth to apply the polish, the paint, whatever you're working with. It just goes on a lot smoother, in my opinion, to a matte top coat. So 
that's my reasons for doing it try it out and if it works for you it works for you okay because it works for me Okay, so now that I have the matte top coat over them, now I'm gonna get ready to get my French tip on. And I'm gonna use this sparkly, sparkly polish from D&D. &D. And just because I'm doing a blinged out French tip, I always like to use a sparkly background color for it. So that's what I'm doing. And here's my little French tip nail hack. I highly recommend using stickers. Just just use stickers I made these myself with my Cricut machine shout out to Krikisha my Cricut machine so I made these French tip stickers um, I can insert a little video here of how I made them and if you guys would like a video more detailed about that shout out in the comments below so super easy I just put the sticker where I want the nail tip the French tip to go And of course you got to make sure this is what I do to make sure that it's lined up straight. I just take the pointy end of my, um, my, well, the, yeah, the pointy end of my little tool right here and I figure out where the point, the center point of the nail is, figure out where I want my French tip to stop and, you know, just mark, mark it. Now I'm going to apply the sticker in the correlating spots, like the, the spots where I want it to go. That's where I'm going to put it. And make sure it's straight before you lay it on down. Flipping it upside down, all the angles, and then I lay it down. I had to fix it. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. And now I'm going to apply my gel polish. And y'all, I use this, this little hack for everything. Like all my French tips, I always like, mm. Ever since I've been doing this, I have not looked back, never wanted to look back. Just, it's so much easier to me because my hands aren't the steadiest, especially because I, I just can't stop drinking caffeine. So my hands get a little shaky sometimes. So yeah, this is, this has been working for me. Okay, so I wasn't really feeling that sparkly polish at first, so I ended up mixing it with this Nail Addict color. And yeah, I just went over it with that. And I mean, it still turned out cute. At the end of the day, I just want a really sparkly background color for my bling, because these are gonna be blinged out. It's, it's got, something's going over it anyway. It's not that deep. Just, just make a sparkly background. Okay, so after you got your polish all down, now before you cure it, take the sticker off before you cure it, okay? <laughs> because if it's messed up and you cure it, you you just mess it up. So I use my little um, pincher because I have no fingernails. And then I get it the little tip off. And this is the fun part. There she is. There she is. Cute. She cute. She ready. And again, you could sell this just like this. 
but of course I have to be extra AF and bling it the F out so I'm gonna go ahead and cure it now and do the same thing with the other nail tips Okay, so this is all the finished French tips. So now let's get into the bling. It's the most favorite part of the video. So we're about to apply this bling. So first thing, you just gotta, you know, make sure your nail tips is on the nail tip stand correctly. And now I'm gonna be using my Rainbow Bling Bling Kit from the Jazzy Nails website. I'm gonna be using these AB Crystals. You get two in, like two compartments are dedicated to the AB Crystals because everybody loves AB Crystals. And of course, the Sticky Icky Bling Adhesive. And my gel brush. So I'm gonna go into my Sticky Icky Bling Gel, getting it on one side of the brush, and just applying it where the French tip is, nowhere else, just where the French tip design is. See, that's why I tell y'all, that's why I tell y'all, make sure it's in there good. See, cause I, look, I fucked up. Imagine if I had a top coat on there. Mm. So like I said, I'm just following along where the French tip design is. And I want it to be even more extra if that was possible. I'm gonna add more bling at the cuticle. So just, you know, a simple little one, two, little one, two dot right there so that's where I'm gonna apply some more sticky icky bling gel so really apply your bling gel where you want to apply your bling <laughs> 
and now I'm gonna go in with another crusty dusty you know if your shit's not dirty you must not be using it or maybe you're cleaning it afterwards I don't know but um, I'm just gonna go in with the flawless diamond top coat and gently float over the nail area well the nail tip I'm being gentle over where I applied the bling gel because I don't want to you know scrape it up or anything like that I just want to leave it where it is so I'm just gently going over with my bling gel well with my top coat and now we're just gonna cover I always cover up my bling gel because I don't want anything to get in it and now I'm just gonna take my bling snatcher and apply this bling So for this design, I wanted to use more of the smaller size stones so I can maintain the shape of the design. And the first thing I did was go around the curve of the French tip with the stones so I could just keep it nice and tight along the line of the French tip. And then I just filled it in, keeping the shape in mind, keeping all the stones as tight as possible. And then I use different nails, um, different stone sizes, just 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 because I like how it looks. I like how it looks. That's about it. <laughs> but that's what I did throughout the entire design. Just went around the curve of the French tip first and then filled in, keeping them nice and tight together.
now because I just can't stop myself, I'm gonna be adding just, just one more stone by the cuticle area. But um, no, I really do think this one little stone is just gonna add the final touch that this nail design needs. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that in the center and now I'm gonna go in with my micro beads. I got this from Michaels. It has a bunch of different um, color micro beads in it, but I'm gonna be using silver because I think that is what's best gonna complement this design. So I just put the micro beads um, around the stone. Feel free to go completely around the stone. Keep going, keep going. And this is the final look. And I did this exact, you know, same thing with all of the nail tips to get the final look. Are you ready? Ooh, how is she though? They real cute, they real cute. You know, definitely giving bad bitch, bad bitch with some red bottoms in a Chanel bag. Even if they not real, it don't matter. She still look cute, all right? <laughs> so these are called Mrs. Bling on my website. And I really hope you guys learned a few things. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.